Mike Radich here, and I'm now joined on the phone by World Series of Fighting middleweight Kelvin Tiller. Kelvin, how are you? I'm pretty good. About yourself, Mike? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Kelvin, you got a fight coming up August 9th at World Series of Fighting 12. Since this week is basically fight week, what's your schedule like from now until the fight? Uh, I'm going to cut my weight. Uh, i got about 10 pounds to go. Uh, uh, just, it, it just not necessarily game over, just working on everything, you know, right mint, rolling. Uh, everything, everything is the same, just everything is just a lot lighter. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now, when exactly do you start to put your game face on, if you even have a game face for your fights? You know, when does that happen? Is it the week of the fight? Is it when you're in the city that you're fighting in? Is it the weigh-ins? Is it the day of the fight? Is it when you're walking out? You know, when do you start to get your game face on? When I sign the bad agreement. Hmm. I see. I see. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I get my game face going. I see. I see. Good answer. I like that one. <laughs> Now, you're taking on Elvis Mutopchich at World Series of Fighting 12. What are your thoughts about him as an opponent? Uh, very tough guy. Um, uh, power puncher, of course. Uh, you know, I, he's coming off of a loss, so I, I know he's going to be real game to get back into the win, win column, so that's going to make the fight a little harder. Uh, I mean, I'm ready for whatever they bring. So, I mean, it, it's a game opponent, a good opponent. Uh, it, it'll be an exciting fight, I'm sure. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now, Elvis Mutopcic, he, like you said, suffered a loss in his last fight against Jesse Taylor. I'm just curious, how much film have you studied on Elvis, or do you leave that up to your coaches and they watch the film and then they give you feedback? How does that all work, uh, film study-wise? Yeah, I don't, I don't watch any film on my uh, opponents. Uh, I think I watched a little clip of them uh, a couple of weeks ago, but I don't, I don't sit there and, and try to gain plan for that. My coaches do. Um, I just I train everything equally, and I just go into the fight uh, ready for whatever they throw at me. Mm-hmm. Now, I'm just curious. This fight is going to be fought at the catch weight of 195 pounds. I'm just curious, why the catch weight? Now, why did the fight get switched from Honey Marks to Elvis Mutopcic? Because the original World Series of Fighting 12 poster has you and Marks facing off. Uh, why Why the change in opponents? Uh, um, Elvis' opponent got hurt at 185. Uh, I think he hurt his knee. Uh, I was close to Elvis' weight. Um, there was another guy, the guy that he fighting now, which is... Uh, uh, I'm not sure who Roddy Marks is playing now, which is a legit 205 because I was only working around 205. So that was, that was, that was the reason. Mm, I see, I see. Now, you've been out for a little while. You haven't fought since June of 2013. Has the layoff just been caused by that broken jaw you suffered, or have there been other factors in why we haven't seen you in a year fighting? Uh, yeah, the broken jaw was about, I was about six months with the broken jaw. And then just uh, uh, contract applications. Uh, but everything is well now. And I'm looking forward and I'm going to get back in there and uh, win a fight. Mm-hmm. I can't even imagine having to deal with a broken jaw. You know, the eating, I, I don't think I could I could do that. I don't think I could live without being able to eat, you know, chewing food. I'm sure you ate, but not, you know, chewing the, the solid foods and stuff like that. What was that like going through that whole ordeal of having the broken jaw? I'm, I'm very curious about this because I don't think I could do it. I hope I never have to do it. <laughs> it, was, uh, it was a really bad time in my life. Uh, the first... I think three months, I didn't get to chew anything. So, you know, most people grind their teeth together, and I couldn't do that because of my jaw. Uh, my mouth was shut. I was wired shut for six weeks. And then uh, I had the rubber bands on for like three weeks, three, three, yeah, three weeks, I, I believe. Uh, and then when I had to have nothing on my mouth, no wires or no rubber bands, uh, I still had to... Uh, Eat mostly liquids, you know, everything is uh, like shakes and stuff. Mm-hmm. So it, was, it, was, it was a, a growing, it was, it was a bad pain, it was a, a hard time for me. But I got through it, we're here now, so I'm just thinking about the future in this W. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. One more thing about the broken jaw, and then we'll drop it and move on. Uh, how did you suffer it? Was it in the the last fight you had, the Chris Henning fight, or was it in training? You know, when exactly did you suffer this injury? I actually took a boxing match a month after the Chris Henning fight with the heavyweight, and uh, I got caught with a, a, a straight left, and I thought I got it broken a month after that fight. Oh. I see, I see. Now, training-wise, were you doing any training during the broken jaw? Obviously, there was probably no contact involved, but, you know, other stuff than that, were you were you able to train with the broken jaw? Honestly, I got my jaw broken July 27th, which was a Saturday. I was in the gym hitting mitts July 21st, believe it or not. Oh. I'm not taking no time off the training because I had my jaw broken. I think the longest I've been out the gym since that last year, I think maybe it was a week. I think that's the longest I've taken off of the gym since I had my jaw broken. And uh, I, But for the most part, I haven't taken any time off. Uh, I just used that year to to really find myself, establish myself, and to work on everything I need to work on. And I was actually, which was kind of dumb, but I was actually born like. Maybe a um, month and a half, two months afterwards, I still had my wires on and I got punched really, really hard in a jaw when I had my wires on, which is kind of dumb. I just can't stay out the gym. That was my life. So, uh, so yeah, that, that's, that's pretty much it. Oh, I see. I see. Now, where are you training at these days? Because, you know, you've trained at American Top Team, you've trained at Alliance, you've trained at Grindhouse, you've been all over, really. I, I can't keep up. Uh, wh- where are you training at right now? I'm trying to work my gym called uh, United Martial Science in Topeka, Kansas. Uh, that's where I've been doing most of my training camp at. And, um, um, yeah, just, you know, no big name. was just guys that took me to the lemon and, uh, you know, guys on my side. So uh, that's, that's where I've been at, you know, Martial Science hmm. in Topeka, Kansas. Oh, I see. I see. Now, I'm just curious, who's going to be cornering you for this fight? My kickboxing coach, Ben and Woodward. Oh, that's it? Just one guy? Oh, I see, I see. And when do you fly out to Las Vegas? Uh, Thursday. Thursday, okay. Okay, I see, I see. Now, I'm very curious about this because, you know, you have fought three times for Bellator and you're undefeated in your MMA campaign as a professional. So I'm very curious as to why you're with World Series of Fighting now because Bellator, they're not willing to part with anybody who's, you know, a a young up-and-coming prospect with a good record. Um, What happened with Bellator? Why why are you no longer with them? I'm very curious about this. Uh, I came in uh, overweight. Two times, uh, I think I was two pounds over at one, and uh, I think I was three pounds over at the other fight. And uh, uh, Born Remy let me go. He uh, said I had to you know, get my weight under control, my diet under control, and one day hopefully he can have me back. Um, so that, that, that was prior to that story. It was just literally because of me missing weight. Oh, I see, I see. They, 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 they were great, though. They had, they had big plans for me. I just had to get my weight under control. Oh, I see, I see. June of 2013 was your last MMA fight. When does World Series of Fighting come into the picture? When did they sign you, and when did they say, hey, we want you to be a part of the organization? When do you start talking with them? Uh, I think last year in November. I found them in November. Mm-hmm. And, uh, I mean, it, it all happened pretty fast. Uh, I got released from Bellator. Um, I was looking for a fight, and with the whole broken glass and everything, uh, I got in touch with a guy named Joe Wooster from Rye House. He got me in contact. Uh, he called me. He made a phone call. He got me in contract with us. So we were fighting. And uh, that's how that happened. Mm-hmm. I see. I see. Now, you mentioned the parts about how you've struggled to make weight in the past. You've had a, a little bit of trouble with that. Uh, did this broken jaw in a roundabout way, did, th- did that help you with your weight? I mean, obviously not being able to eat solid food, I'm, I'm sure that the calorie intake wasn't that great. So um, is that something, the broken jaw, kind of a blessing in disguise when it comes to weight? Yes, sir, that's it. That's why I tell you. I was the time that my brother and brother was one of the best things that happened to me. I lost like 28 pounds, and uh, I just become so used to waking up, waking shakes, and uh, not eating as much as, as I used to and still being healthy in the process. So, uh, yes, it, it was actually a blessing. It, 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 it was a blessing to get my jaw broken. It, it, it taught me a lot. Mm, I 
see, I see. Now, are you still able to do boxing with your contract with World Series of Fighting? And also, are you still interested in trying to take some boxing matches? Uh, I'm, I'm not really interested in boxing at all. Uh, I was just doing a full shake back then. <laughs> My okay. passion is MMA, so I, that's what I'm going to stick with. Oh, I see, I see. Now... The Ultimate Fighter, was that ever something that was on the table? Because this last season, the BJ Penn, Frankie Edgar season, was a 185 and 205 season. Did you try out? Were, were you able to, to go through the process? Because, you know, you were you were injured. You had the broken jaw. Were you, was that something that was, was in the plans? Was that something that you, you were open to? I actually made the last show, but I didn't get caught by my doctor caught on my broken jaw. Mm. So I did try out for, I think it was back in August, last year of August, when we were supposed to fight in October. And, uh, but I didn't get cleared to my brother. I didn't realize I was going to be out that long. And, uh, we were supposed to fight October, I think 16th, something like that, to start filming. And, uh, I called my doctor from Iowa, I thought my jaw broke in that. I called him and told him the situation. He was like, you know, you're like, well, I can't release you. Your jaw is not. 100% your job probably only 40% 30% at the moment I, and it, it, I was letting my, my mental toughness take over and uh, but, but yeah that, uh, I, I actually made the whole show to go on that show so that's, that's the ultimate fight would be in my uh, future plans mm, I see I see now, coming up on August 9th, the World Series of Fighting 12, it's going to be taking place in Las Vegas. Uh, it's the fight capital of the world. Uh, is that something that's special to you? Does, does that mean something to you to be fighting in Las Vegas? Is that something uh, that means a lot to you? Because obviously, 2002, 2003, when the UFC was running shows, you know, six or eight shows a year, solely out of Las Vegas, that was like the, the mark that you had made it in the sport. If you were fighting in Las Vegas, it was a, it was a very big deal. Is, is it a big deal to you to be fighting in Las Vegas? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's a very big deal to me. Uh, I've always wanted to fight in Las Vegas because I started this with my own my career. Of course, looking at UFC, you know, and other uh, organizations, but uh, mainly UFC. So, yes, this is a, if I said it didn't come true to me, uh, I don't mind what, what uh, the food I'm fighting at Vegas in general is just a dream come true. So, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy and I hope I can put a good one for you guys. Mm-hmm. World Series of Fighting, their 185 division pretty much wide open right now. I mean, obviously, David Branch is their champion. Uh, Yushin Okami is fighting him for the title. I can't remember exactly the date that is, but, you know, besides that, there's, you know, really no other guy next in line. Um, is is that something that World Series has, has left open? Hey, if you look good against Elvis, you know, possibly you could be in the mix for that title. Is that something that's been discussed? Uh, it, it hasn't really been discussed. We have a I don't know, a couple of days ago, and Ray Temple was not what we were in, you know, uh, the position to fight for the title. So, uh, so I'm, I'm pretty sure that took a lot of pressure on both of us. Now, Kelvin, I'm just curious, how did you get your nickname, The Mama's Boy? <laughs> I do that with Kelvin. <laughs> uh, yeah, my mom has always been around. Uh, I was a guy that took a lot of times, before me and my three other sisters. Uh, I mean, it's not much to the story, you know. She, she, she just, she's been on a rock. She's always been there. So, uh, growing up, I'm, I'm the youngest out of four, and I'm the only boy. So, of course, I'm the mama's boy. And that's what I, all I heard uh, growing up, and I still hear it to this day. So, I just, it just, when it was time to pick a fight name, it was either just Kevin Tiller or it was the mama's boy. So, I chose the mama's boy. Mm-hmm. Now, is there anything that you're looking to prove, and is there anything you're looking to showcase on August 9th? I'm looking to prove that I'm, I'm, I belong in the sport, and uh, I'm, I'm here to stay for a long time. And young or not, experienced or not, you know, they always say, oh, you don't got that much experience. Uh, we're, in, we're in a different uh, generation, and I, I'm just as good as anybody, if not better. Mm-hmm. So I, I'm, I'm coming to prove that I'm, I'm better than anybody that's stepping in the stage with me. Mm-hmm. How do you get the job done on August 9th against Elvis Mutopcic? I don't know, but my hand will be released. Calvin, real quick before I let you go, do you have any sponsors you'd like to thank, and is there anything you'd like to say to the fans? Um, I'd like to thank uh, Get Fit get Fitness Elite, um, Boxing Gym. I'd like to thank uh, 
Kelvin, thank you for taking the time to talk. I really appreciate it. Good luck, August 9th, at World Series of Fighting 12 against Elvis Mutopchich. Thank you for having me.